Greetings on behalf of the Save Ackworth History Foundation. I'm Betsy Brown. I'm Vice President of the Foundation this year, and I, along with two of my cohorts, Becca Keenel, who is our videographer, and Mac Turner, producer-director, are here today on what I think is the loveliest street in Ackworth, and that's Seminole Drive. Seminole Drive has a long and interesting history. Most of the houses here were built in the 20s and 30s, but uh, prior to the arrival of the lake, the uh, street actually went all the way down over this hill, and at the bottom there was, at various times during our history, either a dairy there or a brickyard. If you followed the road on across by Proctor Creek, then you eventually would meet up with um, Mars Hill Road. And that's how many of the country folk out there, who farmers then, would come to Ackworth town. They would go down Mars Hill Road, meet up with Seminole Drive, and come out on Dallas Street, you know, right down here. Now, my familiarity with Seminole Drive is more the 50s and 60s, because this is where my family and I lived uh, during my uh, growing up period. And it was a wonderful place. It was close to town. It was close to the school. I could ride my bike. I could walk uptown. There were lots of kids in the neighborhood. And on summer evenings, I remember playing kick the can until really late at night. And there were like a gazillion lightning bugs. So I have fond memories of that. But really, it took me until the time that I was an adult to realize that in almost every house on this street, there was an amazing family. And some of them you'll remember, but I wanted to share with you how amazing this street really was. And starting out, this house right here, the first one you can see, uh, brown roof, white house, is uh, the place where the Clarks lived, Rayford and Maud uh, Clark. And they had um, three children, wonderful people, uh, Rayford was a big hunter and fisherman, but everybody will remember Maud Clark as the person who worked with Dr. Cobble for, uh, and took care of several generations of Ackworth people. Next door was a member of the McLean family, which was large and important around here, and this was Pascal, uh, Packy, and Helen McLean who lived here. When I look, if you can see right here, this is this house here actually was even smaller, and it was the uh, dental office of Dr. Glenn Reed. And he practiced here for a long time. My mother actually worked in his office as a dental assistant for a while. And um, this was convenient for him because he actually built the house next door, which is uh, really a beautiful house, one of the prettiest ones on Seminole Drive. But by the time that we moved here, Dr. Reed had moved his residence from here out further in the uh, country. And the people who lived here was his daughter, Ruth Hamner, and her husband, Bill. And they owned uh, Hamner Chevrolet. And um, I don't know if everybody knows, but eventually Hamner Chevrolet was bought by Levi Day and became Day Chevrolet, of course. We've moved up to the beach end of Seminole Drive so that I can show you some of the other houses. And to my far right over here, Gray House sitting sort of in the uh, below Gray, is the home of Dr. George and Von Seal Lacey. Dr. Lacey, a pharmacist, bought the drugstore, Lacey, which became Lacey Drugs, of course, from the Durham Brothers, oh, back in the 30s, I think. If you move next door to him, the white two-story house that belonged to W.P. Sprayberry. And at the time that we were living here, uh, Mr. Sprayberry was the superintendent of Cobb County Schools. And I was always a little bit afraid of him. Um, and the house next door to the Sprayberries actually was the first home of Frank and Sue Parker when they moved here from South Georgia. And as we know, uh, Frank Parker uh, started, uh, built, uh, Ackworth Hardware at the site of the old Center Street uh, where the Center Street Tavern is now. Uh, next door to him, if we can see over there, was uh, the home of Buster Dover. 
Cardinal Pius, deceased by the time that we lived here, but his widow was still there. And as I understand, uh, Buster was a one-time mayor of Athens. And if we sort of can get over on the other side of the street and look down at the craftsman style uh, bungalow down there, that actually was a ranch house when we were here, and that was the home of Omer and Ruth Kemp. And Omer Kemp was the president of Cobb Exchange Bank. He had to be here for a while to remember Cobb Exchange Bank, but he was the president and board of trustees for quite a long time. Right next door to him as we move sort of closer to the beach is the home of um, Joe Allen. And uh, Joe Allen was one of the founding brothers of the chain of Allen's five and 10 cent stores. So uh, and one thing I remember about um, his widow, she was so sweet. Inside that garage is the smoothest concrete in all of Ackworth. And she would let all of us kids go in there and skate. I'll never forget her for that. Um, another uh, reminiscent I have of this street is that uh, when you went to Ackworth Hardware, he always had skate keys, Mr. Parker did. And he would, for three dollars, he would build you a set of stilts. So everybody, you know, on the street had their three dollar stilts walking up and down Seminole Drive from Mr. Parker. Uh, a little bit further on the down the hill here, in a house that you can't see, was uh, the brick ranch that um, Wayne and Evelyn Davenport lived in. Uh, Mr. Davenport was a longtime um, judge in the municipal court of uh, Davenport. Uh, a little bit further, let's see if I go past Mr. Kemp's house. The next one is going to be, which we really can't see, is going to be the house of Harmon and Louise Pittner. And Mr. Pittner was also an executive at the Bank of Ackworth. And his wife, Miss Pittner, was, I think, maybe our first librarian. She certainly was one of the earliest. And she uh, played organ for the United Methodist Church. And she was uh, my music teacher. Uh, in the house next to the Pittners was the home of Harold Harrison. And Harold Harrison, um, and I can't remember his wife's name, but um, he was the uh, president of the Bank of Ackworth for quite a long time. So these are uh, some of, this is, covers just about every house on Seminole Drive except for one. And I want to show you my house and tell you about it. The last house that I want to tell you about is the one that I was raised in, uh, this one right here. It was built about in the 30s. It was built by the Sill sisters who came from New England and started the Ackworth Mills that was eventually uh, bought by Coates and Clark. But when they got here, their hope was that they could build a house and attract an MD to come down to Ackworth and to be uh, a doctor who would take care of their employees and also take care of the people of Ackworth. And that was accomplished when they found and uh, attracted to Ackworth Dr. M. N. McCall and his wife, Mary. And of course, we could do a whole um, segment on just that family but they did live here. Uh, this was the first house that the McCalls lived in when they uh, first came to Ackworth. So it makes it a really special house uh, for that reason. It's special to me because it was the place that uh, I grew up and had a lot of experiences. And you know, when I looked around this neighborhood and saw all of the people that I thought were so important, I have always felt sort of insignificant, you know, like, we weren't the movers and shakers some of these other people were. But as I thought about it, um, my dad was able to buy this house because of the GI Bill. And that's because he had served in World War II and the Korean Army and the Korean War. So um, I think that makes him really special. My mother and daddy always worked. They always provided everything they could for me. Certainly, I got everything that I needed. So uh, coming back today sort of helps me to um, realize what a great place it was and what a great family I came from. And as Mac Turner would say, over and out. <laughs>